So hello, 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 welcome, guys, welcome. Good night, everybody. So let me see. Good night. Good night, Jorge. How are you? Bye. Thank you. Okay, perfect. So let's see, we are going to wait, you know, for the rest of your classmates. So Ronald, hello, good night, how are you? Good evening, teacher, how are you? Hi, I'm good, thank you. What about you, how are you? Um, okay. I'm a little bit uh, enfermo. Ah, you can say, I'm a little bit sick. Oh, uh, 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 I'm a Oh, a flu. You can say, I have flu. Okay, I, I have flu. Flu, yeah, flu. Flu, thanks. So, perfect, so perfect, guys. So, well, we are 8 o'clock right now, so we are going to start with the class. So I'm going to ask for the ones that have the camera out if you can turn on, okay? So perfect. First of all, guys, let me you know share you as it is common, right? To show you the platform, okay? So, well, guys, you receive a message, right, from someone that said that you haven't finished section one and two, okay? So remember, guys, those most to be finished the last week, right? So because we are in section number three, okay. Session number two and one must to be finished. La sección uno y dos de la plataforma ya debe estar terminada, right? Session one and, and two. So, guys, if you don't finish, si no terminan, chicos, la sección uno y dos, de nada les va a servir a avanzar a la tres, chicos, ¿ok? Así que tienen que haber terminado ya esas dos, ¿ok? So, perfect. So, guys, we had a homework, right? So this was the homework, right? To finish this exercise. So who finished this exercise? ¿Quiénes terminaron este ejercicio, guys? Everybody? Yes? Yeah. So, well, guys, this exercise was really easy, right? So it was about, uh, you know, to describe professions, right? So for example, let's start with this one, guys, okay? So uh, let's see, yeah, this one better. So we have this one, what's his job, okay? So we are talking about 11, what's his job, guys? What was the answer here? This one, okay, I have an answer here. I... He's a chef. He's a uh, chef. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Yes. A chef, right? Perfect. And now this one. What's his job? Number 12. This one. His. A waiter, right? And then we have the last one. What's her job? Her, remember, is for she, right? Her job. So. She's she, a waiter. She's a waitress. Perfect. Waitress, okay. So, guys, this exercise must be finished, right? Este ejercicio era la tarea, right? So, I hope you have finished this, right? Because this one was for today, okay? So, now you can see here, okay? Here are the answer, right? For this one. So, you see, it was like this, right? So, you pudieron haber respondido así la primera, right? What's his job? He's a pilot, right? He's a pilot. What's her job? She's a flight attendant. What's his job? He's a musician. She's a singer, right? So you see this one, right? So I hope everybody finished this exercise. Espero que todos hayamos terminado este ejercicio, right? Because it was really easy. Estaba bastante fácil, right? So guys, uh, one thing, well, for the ones that are joining, para los que ya se unieron, chicos, Section 1 and 2 de la plataforma, chicos, ya debe estar terminada, ¿ok? Ya debieron terminar todos esos ejercicios. Ahí les enviaron un mensaje al grupo de WhatsApp. Si ustedes no lo han terminado, por favor, comuníquense con esa persona, ¿ok? Eh, si no han logrado terminar los ejercicios, pero eso ya deben de estar terminados, ¿ok? Porque de nada va a servir que ustedes avancen a la, a la Section 3 si no han terminado aquellos, ¿ok? 
So perfect, guys. Now let me, you know, start with the class tonight. So well, for tonight we have first this exercise. So we have this conversation. Let me make it bigger for you, okay, guys. So let me help you, okay. So we have this conversation, okay. So I'm going to read for you guys, okay. So then we are going to practice together, okay. Well, let's los primero, guys, and then you can. Practice with your classmates, okay? So let's start and pay attention, guys, okay? So we have Rachel and Angela, okay? So Rachel, where does your brother work, okay? Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. Okay. What hotel does he work for? The Plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Okay. So if you understand, if you understood, guys, this conversation, probably uh, you are going to get fun, right? Because it's kind of funny, right? So they are talking about, you know, jobs, right? What is the job here, guys? ¿Cuál es el trabajo aquí? The occupation? Manager. Manager. We have manager and we have front desk agent, right? Front desk agent. So guys, now uh, what I want from you guys, lo quiero ustedes, de que, if you want, you can take a picture. Pueden tomar una foto a esto, pero se lo voy a mandar igual al grupo, right? To the WhatsApp group. So we are going to practice this, right? Vamos a practicar esto together, right? So I'm going to divide you guys into groups so you can practice with your classmates, okay? Pueden practicar con sus classmates, chicos, okay? No tengan pena, ¿verdad? We are learning. Su compañero sabe lo mismo que usted, okay? Así que no tengan miedo, no tengan pena, okay? So let's see, we are going to create now. Perfect. So now, guys, um, I have already created the breakout rooms. Ya creé los breakout rooms, guys. You can join, okay? You can join now. Please accept the invitation, okay? Perfect. Okay. Perfect, guys. Okay. If you help me, we said Marita. Jorge, please, if you can help me. Okay. So let me see. What do we have here? Row number five. Okay, guys, if you can accept, please. The invitation. Please. Okay. So perfect. Let's see. A hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in the hotel. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? No, very much. He doesn't like. That's funny. My bro my brother works there too. Um, esa última casi no se nota mucho. <laughs> ah, dice, oh, that. Yeah. Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. Thanks to you. That's too bad. What hotel do it that work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother was there too. Oh, that's interesting. What that hit? My brother works in a, in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. 
how does he he like it not very much Okay, perfect, guys. Welcome back. Welcome. So, welcome, everybody. So, how was the practice? ¿Cómo estuvo la práctica? Did you practice, guys? Yes, teacher. Perfect. That's very nice. I hope that you have... interesting. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you. So, okay, guys. So, we are going to wait for, you know, for your classmates to go back here, okay? So, well, guys, I have, you know, I have selected who is going to help me, okay? Ya seleccioné los grupos quienes van a ayudarme, you know? Now we are going to practice this one, okay, guys? So let's see, we are going just to wait for the rest of you guys. Okay, so, well, guys, for the ones that are, you know, here, we are going to practice this, right? So, Let's start, okay, guys. Um, I need um for the participation of tonight. I need at uh, Edwin and I need a uh, Nuvia. So Edwin, you are going to be Rachel and Nuvia Angel, okay. So guys, please help me with this, okay? Okay, I start. Yes, please. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. Thanks. To what? What hotel does he? Work for the plaza. Thanks, funny. My brother works there too. Oh, there, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the magan manager. Manager, okay. Thank you. Perfect, guys. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Now we are going to have another participation. So now that everybody is here, so please, uh, Carlos and Soraya, if you can help me, please. So Carlos, you are going to be Rachel and Soraya, Angel, okay? Okay. Perfect, you can continue, Carlos. Okay, where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The place. That's funny. My brother works work there too. Oh, thank you. Interesting. What does he do? Actually, he is the manager. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Excellent. So, well, guys, um, we have this conversation for tonight, right? So, I need to ask you something, guys. Um, do you understand what is this conversation about? Yes? No? Entienden de qué se trata esta conversación? Everybody? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Is... Is there any word that you don't understand? Hay una palabra aquí que ustedes no, se, no entiendan. Una palabra. Yes, no. Everything is clear. 
Yeah. Okay, perfect. I like it, guys. I like that you know everything, right? So perfect. Now let me move on, okay? So we have this one. Do you remember that yesterday we were talking about this, right? Some activities that you know when you are employee, when you work, you have to do, right? For example, wears a uniform, sits all day, talks to people, you know, works hard, staying all day, handle money. So you remember this, right? This vocabulary. So this was part of the uh, exercise yesterday, right? For the quiz. So now guys, let me, you know, move on. So now we have guys a very interesting, well, we have now a quiz, okay? We are going to make a quiz, everybody, and it will be individual, okay? Vamos a hacer un ejercicio, and it will be individual, okay? Va a ser individual. So you see, guys, the exercise will be this one, okay? This one. So what you have to do, guys, for example, we have jobs right here, jobs, right? And we have places, right? So let's, um, let's choose someone. So we have this one, okay? Works at the police station. Who works in the police station, guys? ¿Quién trabaja en la estación de policía? Police officer. Police officer. Perfect. So you have to move this one to this, right? And with the rest as well, okay? So I'm going to share you the link, okay, guys? Le voy a compartir el link de este ejercicio here in the chat box and in WhatsApp as well, okay? Aquí en el chat box de Zoom, le voy a compartir el link para que lo hagamos, okay? Individual, okay, va a ser individual, okay? Y también se los comparto en el grupo de WhatsApp if you got it, okay? So you can do it, okay? You can start now, guys. It's really easy. Let's stay, you know, just five minutes, okay? Cinco or four minutes to finish. Cinco o cuatro minutos para terminar. Once you finish, cuando ya terminen, chicos, please send the picture to the WhatsApp group, okay? Envíen la foto cuando terminen, okay? Manden su... A screenshot or picture with your name, con su nombre, okay? Con su nombre, primer nombre y apellido, okay? Y cuántos se sacaron, okay? So let's start, okay, guys? You have time. Iniciamos, okay, chicos? So if you have any problem with the link, just let me know, okay? If you cannot access, okay? So let's see. Come on, if you have any question, also you can let me know, okay? So. Perfect. Let me get okay. So let's see who's going to be the first one. Okay. Whenever you finish, guys, remember to send a picture, okay, with your name, your first and last name, okay, to the WhatsApp group, okay? So let's see who's going to be the first one. Remember, we saw this vocabulary yesterday. If you don't remember, guys, you can check the PowerPoint, right? Or you can, you know, check as well the platform. And if you don't know any bird guys, also you have internet, right? You have internet and you can, okay. So we have now some of them. Okay, perfect. Okay, nice guys, very nice. Perfect. So you see that everybody, almost everybody is getting a, well, they getting 10, perfect. Nice guys, perfect. So um, guys, okay, remember, to send me the picture, okay? To send me the picture if you have done the exercise, okay? So it's really easy. Guys, let me give you a recommendation and a, and a tip. If you don't know any word, you have the internet, right? You have Google Translate, you have Google, you have Yahoo, you have application dictionaries. So if you remember any word, just look for it, okay? Look for it and you will know the meaning, okay? So perfect. So well, guys, I am seeing that almost everybody has sent one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Okay, 11. So 11 people had, have sent the exercise and we are here 15. So, well, guys, let's see, okay? 
So we have this one. I need your help, okay? I need your help in the chat box. Please type the answer, okay? So we have this one, repair cars, or repair cars. What do you think? What is this one? Repair cars, okay? I have here, Daniel say mechanic. Okay, mechanic, let's see. Let's look for it, okay? Mechanic with age, okay? Mechanic has an age, okay? Now let's see this one, shop assistant, guys, shop assistant. Where does he work? Where does he work? Donde trabaja? Shop assistant, guys. Where? Okay. Work is in a shop. Okay, perfect. Yeah. In a shop, oh, I have here a, um, a store, year on a store as well. Yeah. Here I have this one. I work in a shop. Perfect. Now, works at a hospital. Who works in a hospital, guy? ¿Quién trabaja en un hospital? Who? Who? Let me know who. Doctor. A doctor. doctor. Perfect. Doctor. Nice. Now we have works at a restaurant. Who works in a restaurant, guys? Chef. 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 Perfect. We can say chef or cook, right? It is the same, right? Now let's see, drives a bus, drives a bus. What is that, guys? Mm -hmm. Bus. Driver. Drive. Yeah. Bus, bus driver. Bus driver, excellent. Remember, driver. Yeah, the pronunciation is called Z, right? Bus, bus driver. Perfect. Now let's see, words at the fire station. What is this guy? What is this? Firefighter. Firefighter, perfect. So yesterday we learned what is firefighter, right? It's bombero, perfect. And then we have the last one, right? Words at the school, teacher. So let's see. Perfect, so we got all the answers correct. So perfect, guys. So you see, it wasn't complicated at all, right? It was really easy, this exercise. So well, guys, now let me move on, okay? Let me move on and let me show you the presentation because for today, we have a grammar part, okay? Tenemos una parte del grammar for today, okay? So. So perfect, guys. So we have now, guys, simple present with WH equations. So you know what is this, right? W equation. You know them, right? You know them, right, guys? So let's start with the first question that we have here, this example. Where do you work? Where do you work? So remember the W equation for where? Do you remember, right? So... Let me show you this one, guys. Let's see, I guess I have it here. Um, okay. So, well, we have, guys, W equation, okay? W equation where? Where do you work? You can answer in a hospital or are, I work in a hospital, okay? What do you do? I'm a doctor. Do you remember yesterday we talked about this question? What do you do? What do you do in Spanish is a que te dedicas o que haces, right? So a que te dedicas. I am a doctor, okay? I'm a doctor, okay? How do you like it? I really like it. How do you like it? ¿Cuánto te gusta? ¿Cuánto te gusta? O ¿Cómo te gusta? I really like it, okay? Now, where does he work, okay? Now we are using here, you see, the third person, right? So that's why we use does, okay? Do you remember this rule, right? For a third person, he, she, and it, we have to use does, okay? Does or does, okay? So where does he work? In a hotel. He works in a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager, okay? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Now, we have this one, where do they work, okay? In a restaurant, okay? So what do they do? They are waiters, okay? 
How do they like it? They hate it, okay? So this one, uh, we have first where, okay? Where is the place, right? Where is the lugar, right? Donde trabajan, where? Now, what, are, what do they do? ¿Qué hacen ellos, okay? ¿Cuál es su profesión? We have place, profession, right? And if they like it, si a ellos les gusta, okay? In a hospital, in a hotel, in a restaurant, right? A doctor, in a hospital. Manager in a hotel, waiters in a restaurant, right? So now, guys, let me, you know, help you with this part, okay? Now we are going to see, well, this one, this part, okay? This one, that is, how can we create a sentence using WH question in the simple present? ¿Cómo crear una pregunta, chicos, usando estos, okay? So first, let's start with this one. So tenemos do and does. ¿Cuándo vamos a utilizar do, guys? When. ¿Para cuáles uh, pronouns? ¿Para cuáles pronombres vamos a utilizar do? Do you remember? I, you, they, we. I, you, they, and we, right? Perfect, guys. Yeah. And for does, I mentioned it. He, she, it. He, she, and it. Perfect. So, guys, okay, do, we are going to use only for this one, right? And these are, remember, they and we are plural, right? Plural. This one are singular, right? This one as well, right? Singular. Now, let's see, okay? So, we have this rule here, okay? We have the first one must to be W equation, okay? La primera que tenemos que agregar es una W equation. So we have many W questions, right? We have uh, when, what, how, where, why, okay? Do you remember them? Yes? Okay, perfect. So let's start. A W question. Let's choose um, where, right? Where? So donde, right? Then it say that we have to do or does, depending, right? It depends about this one. Qual, qual subject ocupemos? So let's start with you. So with you, we have to use do, right? Where do, perfect. Uh, who is writing, guys? ¿Quién está escribiendo? So please, if you can stop writing. Okay. So now we have do, right? Plus subject. So because we say you, right? You, right? The subject. Now we have to use the verb, okay? Where do you? And then the verb. Uh, let's choose a verb. Where do you uh, work? Okay, that's the verb, right? Where do you work? Okay. And complement, it can be whatever thing, right? El complemento puede ser cualquier cosa, right? And remember to add something at the end, okay? The complement is optional if you want, okay? It's optional dependiendo. Y at the end, siempre la question mark, okay? Question mark, signo de interrogación, okay? Where do you work? Okay. Let's see another example. Okay, guys, another example using. Teacher, does, okay? question. Yes. Por ejemplo, en español, si nosotros hacemos una pregunta eh, escrita, se sabe diferenciar en inglés igual puede ser, aunque no pongamos el, el signo de interrogación. Um... Bueno, no, en, en inglés, grammatically, gramaticalmente, siempre tiene que ir el signo de interrogación, porque es una pregunta, right? Sin embargo, mm. en inglés jamás, bueno, no van a encontrar el signo de interrogación del principio, siempre va a ir el del final, Pero okay? Solo el del final, yeah. Oh, always that. So please, if you are making a question, always use this, okay? Si están haciendo una pregunta, siempre, siempre usen, okay? Si la okay. escribiendo, right? Perfect. Thank you for the question. So, anyone else has a question? ¿Alguien más tiene alguna pregunta? You are understanding, guys. ¿Están entendiendo cómo se crea una pregunta? Yes? Okay. Perfect. So, let's see. Let's look for another example. Okay. So, W is question. Let's see. Uh, what? Let's use what. Okay. What? And then use does. Okay. What does? And for does, we can use he, she, and it, right? So let's see, what does she? So you see what? W, right? 
do does here, right? Subject, I have the subject here, okay? So let me make, let me separate this so you can see them, okay? So perfect. So what does, then we need a verb. So let's look for a verb. Um, what does she, um, let's see, what does she do, okay? Let's see this verb, okay, do, I said, right? What does she do? Um, and let's add a complement, agreeamos un complemento, okay? What does she do in the hospital, okay? And the question mark, you see the question mark, sin interrogación, always, right? So you see, what does she do in the hospital, okay? You see, guys? Okay, perfect. Besides that, guys, do you have any question? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta acerca de este? Yes, no. ¿Cómo crear una pregunta? Eh, mm -hmm. Coach. La pregunta con, con what does she and cook and cook or other bear always in el verbo va a ir en, en su forma base. Yeah, that's something, yeah. Uh, that I can tell you. Uh, guys, remember, we use does always at the beginning, right? Cuando estamos, si ocupamos he, she, and it, vamos a utilizar does as a question, right? But the next verb must be in the main form, okay? Let's see, el verbo que vamos a utilizar aquí tiene que ser en la forma original, right? Porque ya ocupamos does, ya lo utilizamos, right? Que es lo que abarca la regla de la S, right? But for example, let's ask this question. What does she do? A que se dedica, right? So I can answer this one. She works in a hospital. Okay. Well, she works, sorry. She works at the hospital. She is a doctor. Okay. So you see? Here, because I'm not using does, right? Because no utilizo does. Pero esta no es una pregunta, sino que es una afirmación. Pero does, chicos, déjenme decirle does. Ustedes solo lo van a utilizar para hacer pregunta o para hacer algo negativo, okay? So, for example, she doesn't, okay? She doesn't. Y el verbo ya no lleva eso, okay? She doesn't work, okay? You see? Um, I don't know, no sé si expliqué mejor, lo dejé más confuso, o hay algo que necesitan saber aquí. Yes. Podría hacer otra, mm -hmm. podría hacer otra pregunta usando con otro verbo, que no sea tú, otro verbo como una pregunta que ahora es, se levanta él, o sea que se va a usar el gets. Ok, perfecto. No sé. Yeah, so what, wait, sorry, let me make it, so what uh let's see what does what does he let's see what does he does he what time well what time does he you know what is get up right get up okay what time does he get up okay a qué tiempo o cuando se levanta el, right so you see but let's omit this one okay let's omit Let's make another, okay? So, what does he uh, play, okay? What does he play? ¿Qué juega él, right? What does he play? Or, let's see, what does he, um, what does he make for uh, dinner, okay? ¿Qué hace él para la cena, okay? What does he make for dinner, you see? Make, okay? Or let's see, what does he study, okay? ¿Qué estudia, right? What does he study? ¿Qué estudia él, right? So you see? Uh, thank you, coach. Uh, una pregunta más. Mm -hmm. eh, cuando usted, eh, usted dice que el make es hacer, ¿cuál es la diferencia del do y make? Yeah, it's, that's a very interesting question, you know, es una pregunta bastante interesante, es bastante fácil. Make, chicos, ustedes lo van a utilizar más que todo para cosas que nosotros creamos, okay, creations, by own, okay. For example, I make a coffee 
for my uh, breakfast, okay? I make my coffee. Hago mi, mi café, right? Y tú lo vamos a hacer para actions, right? Para actions que realizamos. Por ejemplo, I do exercise every day, okay? I do exercise. So eso es una action, right? Una acción. Y make es como algo que nosotros creamos, okay? So that's the difference, okay? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Perfect. So, well, thank you for your uh, questions. One a question. Yeah. To, uh, es sí o sí que se, la fórmula siempre va a ser WH en una pregunta. O también, digamos, el ejemplo se puede hacer, does she live in London? Yeah. Eh, también es una otra eh, forma de, de hacer preguntas. Yeah, eh, en ese caso se llama las yes or no question, right? Yes or no question no necesitan la WH question, okay? For example, does she live in London? Yes, she does, okay? So, son preguntas de sí y no, right? But here is, for example, where does, for example, pongamos esta pregunta, where does she live? ¿Dónde vive ella, right? So you can answer, she lives in London, right? So you see? And if I ask you, ¿dónde vive ella? Pero si le pregunto, does she live in London? Ella vive en, en Londres, I say. And you can say, yes, she does, okay? Yes, she does. Um, I don't know if I answered your question. Yes? No? You see? Those are yes or no questions, okay, guys? I thought you have seen them. Creo que esto lo, bueno, lo vieron en su módulo pasado. Es, solo son preguntas que ustedes hacen como, uh, does, do, do you like ice cream? Do you like pupusas? Y ustedes dicen, yes, I do. No, I don't, okay? Pero con la WH question, guys, es como que ah, preguntan algo más en específico, ¿ok? So, for example, this example, where do you work? ¿Dónde trabajas, right? Porque si solo decimos, do you work? Ustedes pueden decir, yes, I do, right? Pero no me preguntan dónde, right? Y aquí sí, where do you work, ¿ok? So, you see? That's how we use WH question, right? To ask for more information, right? More information, ¿ok? So, but guys, do not worry. Let me now share you the screen because we have, you know, some exercises, okay? So first of all, let me move on here. I guess I have it here. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to show you now, guys, something. So because probably you may ask, I need to later on this because I have to solve the exercise. So now, guys, we are, you know, we are going to make this together, okay? So if you see, this is an exercise, well, a quiz that we have, right, in the platform. Este es un quiz que tenemos en la plataforma, right, que tenemos que terminarlo. So let's make it, okay? Let's, let's see how, is, how difficult or easy is this, okay? Vamos a ver. So tenemos aquí, guys, what does your sister do, okay? This is a question, okay? ¿A qué se dedica tu hermana? And then we have this one. My sister, mi hermana, She's a nurse. Ella es una enfermera. Now, let's see. Tenemos aquí un interrogante. Y tenemos que la respuesta es, it's difficult, but she loves it. So, let's start making the question. We have the first one. Where does she, where does she lie? Mm, what is where? Where is down there, right? No, right? So then, what does she like? Mm, ¿Qué ella le gusta? No, right? How does she like? If you remember, how does she like? Or how do you like? Means, uh, ¿qué tanto te gusta, right? ¿Cómo te gusta, right? Si te gusta o no, right? So in this one, let's, let's go back to this part, okay? Volvamos a la diapositiva and let's see. Veamos cómo formar una pregunta, okay? So, primero es la W equation. Luego va do or does, subject, y el verb, right? So now, let me move on, go back then, and let's see this one, okay? So, all this question puede ser where, what, how, and why, right? 
So in this case, let's place how, okay? How does she like it? ¿Cuánto le gusta? ¿O le gusta? Es difícil, pero lo ama, right? Now, let's move on to this one, okay? So tenemos que la respuesta es at the airport. He's a pilot. So guys, I need you to help me in this one, okay? Necesito que me ayuden. Escriban en el chat box cuál creen ustedes que es la respuesta. Es one, two, and three. Is where, what, or how? What do you think? Okay, let's see. Okay, perfect. So you have here. Okay, then you'll say one. Okay, Ronald, where? Eliana, where? Juan, A. So we have the first question. Say, where does your brother work? At the airport. He's a pilot. So perfect, guys. Where does he work? Donde trabaja él? En el aeropuerto. Es un piloto, right? Nice. Now let's move on to this one, okay, guys? So we have this one. Tenemos que la respuesta es, he doesn't really like it. A él no le gusta. So what do you think, guys? What do you think is the correct one? ¿Cómo preguntábamos si le gustaba? Okay, then he'll say number two. What about the rest? What do you think, guys? Oh, where, how, or what? Okay. Okay, wow, how, how? Perfect, yeah. How does he like it? A él le gusta? ¿O cuánto le gusta? He doesn't really like it. A él no le gusta, right? So now let's move on to this one, okay? So we have do your parents. Y la respuesta es, oh, I guess they like them. Okay, what do you think, guys? What do you think? Okay, then he'll say three. What about the rest? Okay, how? They say how. Okay. So in this question, how do your parents like their jobs? Oh, I guess they like them. How do you like it, guys? Se puede traducir de bastante forma, okay? Como cuánto te gusta, qué te gusta, right? Te gusta, okay? So how do your parents like their jobs? Oh, supongo que a ellos les gusta, okay? Now let's see this one, okay? We are making this one. So we have, I don't remember, no lo recuerdo. And we have the answer, in an office in the city, okay? So let's see, what do you think? What, where, or how? Okay, then you'll say two. So it's a where. What about the rest? Where? Okay, Ronald say where. And the rest. Do you think it's this one, guys? Do you believe it this one? Okay, Juan Carlos say where. Okay. So I don't remember where do they work? In an office in the city. Okay. Perfect. So now let's move on. Well, I'm not going to finish this one, okay, guys, because, well, so now let's see this one, okay? So I have a question here, and the answer is, I'm a student. So what do you think, guys? ¿Cuál es la pregunta que hacemos para preguntar a qué se dedican o qué hacen? So then you'll say two, and what about the rest? Okay, Jessica say what? Okay. So in this case, guys, remember, the question that we say always is, what do you do, okay? So perfect, what do you do? What do you do? I'm a student. What do you do? I'm a doctor, I'm a pilot, okay? What do you do? And finally, we have this one. So we have that the answer is, they are good, I like them a lot, okay? So what do you think, guys? What do you think? Okay, Ronald say how. Okay, so in this case, guys, uh, what I can see here is that almost all of them were how, right? So that's, so you see, we have it here, right? So we have all of them, so perfect. So you see, this is the exercise, okay? So if you haven't done it yet, guys, you can, you know, copy and you can do it, right? 
si no lo han, habían terminado este ejercicio, pues ya lo pueden hacer, right? Ya están aquí, ya creo que se entiende más o menos, right? So, I don't know, guys, if you have any question about this, ¿tienen alguna pregunta acerca de este ejercicio? Just no. No. No, no. Question, any doubt, una duda, una pregunta, quejo, reclamo, no. Okay, perfect, guys. So, well, that was the exercise, guys. Now let me move on. We have time yet, okay? So let's we have this, you know, this conversation. However, uh, let's see. I guess we are not going to have time. So, uh, guys, let me move on, okay? So we are going, you know, because I need to explain you this, okay? Necesito explicarles esto para que podamos realizar el siguiente ejercicio, okay? So we have this one, okay? Remember that I explained to you this, right? Recuerden que les expliqué esto en una clase pasada. Cuando ocupar a e and, right? It's for sounds, right? A lo vamos a ocupar siempre cuando hay un sonido consonante, right? A consonant sound. And and we are going to use it for a sound, a bubble sound, okay? So for example, a, a lamp, a door, a house, a bag, a tomato. And am, you know, bubble, right? Bubble. An apple, an elephant, an ice cream, okay? So you see? So this is just, you know, uh, something I that I explain. I have a question. Yeah. Porque cuando igual antes de, de, de por ejemplo, si yo soy doctor, tenemos que poner una A. Uh, yeah, A porque... You see doctor, okay? Do, do, okay? El sonido es consonante, right? Es una D. A doctor, right? A doctor. So you see? No, pero, pero, mm -hmm. ajá, pero y siempre, independientemente, ante cualquier profesión, tenemos que poner el, el, la preposición a o an. Yeah, exactly. But when you're talking about someone, cuando estás describiendo a uno a ti mismo, porque tú dices, I am a doctor. Yo soy un doctor, okay? A significa un, right? Un o una, right? I am a doctor, ¿ok? No puedes decir, I am doctor, soy doctor, ¿ok? Porque no, no suena exactamente lo mismo, ¿ok? No suena en inglés, it's not the same. So you have to say, I am a doctor, ¿ok? Soy un doctor, ¿ok? Soy un doctor, ¿ok? Eh, Thanks. Y, um, you're welcome. And, um, you know, when the next, um, and lo vamos a ocupar siempre que vaya un sonido de vocal, ¿ok? An apple. So you can say, give me a profession, guys. Let's see. Um, well, a profession with una profesión que inicia con una vocal, chicos, con sonido vocal. Let's see. Okay, an account. Okay, an account contador. An account. ¿Por qué? Porque inicia con a, right? An account. So perfect. This one, guys. Esto solo es por general. Okay, general information. Esto se lo explico de nuevo porque Lo que vamos a ver uh, tiene que ver con esto, okay? So let's move on, okay? So guys, we are going to talk about adjectives, okay? When do we use adjectives, okay? So this is general, okay? I'm going to give you a general view of the adjectives. So we have adjectives or opinion, okay? To give personal information. So we have, for example, nice, ugly, lovely, okay? So you can say, he is a... Uh, He's ugly, right? Or she is nice, okay? You see? Now we have shapes and size. Shapes, formas, tamaños, right? So tall, alto, fat, you know, eh, gordo, big, grande, right? So age, okay? Tenemos de edad también. Edad. We have old, viejo, young, joven. Okay, now color. Colors are adjectives, okay? Los colores son adjetivos, chicos, okay? So we have black, yellow, pink, okay? Then we have origin, okay? So to express where something or someone is coming from. So you say French, Egyptian. For example, um, I am from El Salvador. I'm Salvadorian, right? Salvadorian, okay? Adjective. Then we have material, wooden, silk, 
okay? Material de lo que están hechos las, las cosas. Wooden, de madera, right? Now, purpose, como propósitos, party, dining, okay? Okay, guys. So, that's why I was talking to you about the article A, okay? Por eso le estaba hablando sobre A y A, cuando usarlo, okay? So, here we have how to use it, okay? So, placement of adjectives, okay? So, let's start with the first example that we have here, okay? Vamos con B, an adjective. A firefighter's job is dangerous, okay? A firefighter's job is dangerous, okay? El trabajo de un bombero es peligroso, okay? Now, a doctor's job is stressful. El trabajo de un doctor es estresante, right? And then we have this one, adjectives and noun, okay? So, a firefighter has a dangerous job. Un bombero tiene un trabajo peligroso, right? A doctor has a stressful job. Un doctor tiene un trabajo estresante. So, you see, si ustedes los leen, chicos, pueden ver que casi es igual, ¿verdad? Tienen el mismo significado ambos, right? A doctor's job is stressful. El trabajo de un doctor es estresante. A doctor has a stressful job. Un doctor tiene un trabajo estresante. You see? It's almost the same, right? So let's start, you know, making this one. Vamos a iniciar cómo formar esto, ¿ok? Cómo formar B plus adjectives, ¿ok? So primero vamos a iniciar con el article. Va a ser A o AN, ¿ok? A o AN. So you know, right? Ustedes saben cuándo vamos a ocupar A en AN, right? So, en este caso vamos a ocupar A, ok? A. A plus más la profession, ok? Firefighters, doctor, teacher, lawyer, ok? Pilot. So, primero es A o A, dependiendo. En este caso, firefighters. A firefighters. Luego le agregamos la S, chicos. Esta S es de posesivo, ok? De possessive, ok? A firefighters. Then, agregamos la palabra job, ¿ok? A firefighter's job, ¿ok? Firefighter's job. Luego, agregamos verb to be, el verbo to be, ¿ok? Is, en este caso es is, ¿ok? Porque estamos hablando de una cosa, right? A firefighter, un, ¿ok? Un o una, ¿ok? Is. Ahora, agregamos el, adje el adjective, ¿ok? Adjective. Tenemos varios, ¿ok? Tenemos dangerous, stressful, demanding, relax, ¿ok? En este caso, dangerous, right? So, ¿cómo termina la oración? A firefighter job is dangerous, ¿ok? Now, veamos el otro ejemplo. A, ¿verdad? A. A doctors job is, el verbo to be is, siempre, ¿verdad? Siempre va a ser is en este caso, is stressful, ¿ok? Now we have this one, ¿ok? Vamos a armar esta, pero ¿tienen alguna pregunta de este, chicos? Yes, no. ¿Duda, pregunta? Sí, tengo una pregunta. Yes. No acabé de entender esa S con esa como, como, como algo propio o algo así. Yeah. Exactly, yeah, exa es exactamente eso, es algo propio, ¿ok? Es posesivo, ¿ok? Es un posesivo, ¿ok? A firefighter's job, por ejemplo, como también cuando dicen, uh, my friend's house, ¿ok? My friend's house, yo digo, my friend's house, ¿qué significa, chicos? My friend's house, this one. La casa de mi amigo. La casa de mi amigo, right? So, estoy usando un posesivo, right? Es un posesivo, ¿ok? So that's why a firefighter's job, ¿ok? El trabajo de un bombero, ¿ok? El trabajo de un bombero, ¿ok? Es como de un, right? De un. So es, siempre va a ser un posesivo, ¿ok? Eh, algo Thank propio, you. right? You're welcome. Um, besides that, any other question, guys? Otra, otra pregunta? Yes, no. No. Okay. 
So, okay, guys. So we have this one as well. Tenemos esta también, okay? So, vamos a iniciar armando esta, okay? So, tenemos que primero va un article, okay? Ya sabemos, a o an, okay? So, en este caso vamos a agregar a, okay? A. Luego va la profesión, okay? La profesión. Firefighter, doctor, teacher, okay? Cualquier cosa. We have firefighter, okay? Ahora vamos a agregar has, ok? Has. What does has mean? ¿Qué significa has, chicos? Do you know? Has. Tener. Yeah. Tener. Tener. A ver. Tener. Ya, yeah, en este caso es tener, right? Tener. Has lo ocupamos siempre para he, she, and it. Y en este caso, a firefighter puede ser he or she, right? A firefighter has. Tiene. Ahora vamos a agregar de nuevo a o an, right? Dependiendo si el adjetivo que le sigue inicia con vocal, con sonido de vocal o consonante. En este caso, ocupamos a porque el adjetivo es dangerous, ok? Dangerous, peligroso. So, dangerous inicia con D. So, vamos a ocupar a. So, a firefighter has a dangerous y al final el number, ¿verdad? En este caso, vamos a ocupar job, el sustantivo. So a firefighter has a dangerous job, okay? So let's make something else, okay? So let's see. Vamos a armar otra. Primero es A, luego sigue la profesión. A, pongamos a lawyer, okay? A lawyer, un abogado, okay? Let me make it bigger for you. A lawyer has, okay, a lawyer, okay? A liar. Luego se le tiene que agregar has, ¿verdad? Has. Luego, dependiendo del adjetivo que vamos a utilizar. Busquemos un adjetivo. Okay? Uh, has, um, digamos, how do you say aburrido en in, in English? Boring. Boring. Perfect. So, boring inicia con B, right? So, has a boring job. ¿Ok? Easy like that, ¿ok? Fácil como eso, ¿ok? Do you have any question about this, guys? ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta acerca de esto? Yes or no? Yes? No? No. No. Ok, perfect. So, well, guys. Um, bueno, chicos. Due to the time, debido al tiempo, we are not going to finish this one yet. Okay? No vamos a terminar esto aún porque les pensaba dejar el siguiente ejercicio, right? Because the next exercise es acerca de eso, ¿ok? Es para armar eso. Es bastante fácil. But, porque no lo logramos terminar, no lo vamos a hacer, okay? So, guys, um, well, this is everything for tonight, and I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? So, mañana vamos a continuar con este tema y vamos a resolver el ejercicio, okay, de la plataforma. Ya resolvemos uno, que espero que lo terminen, guys. Y recuerden, section one and two, la sección uno y dos del módulo ya debe estar terminado, okay? Si no lo han terminado, chicos, les recomiendo que por favor contacten a aquella persona que escribió en el grupo para ver qué pasó, ¿ok? So, perfect, guys. So, I hope to see you tomorrow, ¿ok? So, have a good day. Well, good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you. Bye. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Take care.